Welcome to Runway Academy. Using Gen 2, replicating a real-life three-camera film setup becomes a breeze. A three-camera setup typically comprises of a wide shot, a medium shot, and a close-up. And today we'll guide you through creating these three distinct shots for a single scene. And we'll create a scene that involves a man encountering a bear. Let's start with the wide shot. First, navigate to the runway dashboard and choose text to image. Let's set the stage by framing a wide angle shot that captures the entirety of the action. So an extreme wide shot of a man standing in a green forest, looking at a bear facing each other. You can continue to specify the prompt further or adjust any advanced settings as desired. And for this, I'm gonna go with the cinematic style preset. Take note of the seed number. It might be helpful to keep it fixed for consistency between shots. Generate images and see which one appeals to you. Then go ahead and download it and set it aside. Next, let's create our medium shot. Using a similar prompt, let's shift the wording a little bit to create more of an over-the-shoulder perspective. So here I'll try a cinematic medium shot of a man blurry in the foreground looking at a bear in the background in a forest. Remember, you can use the same seed number noted earlier. Generate an image until you find one that suits you and matches the feel and relative positioning of our wide shot. Now onto our third shot, the close-up. Let's adjust the prompt to something like a close-up angle of a man in a forest with an expression of fear and wonder. After generating, select a result that not only encapsulates the tension, but also complements the first two shots, and then download it and set it aside. And with that, now we have a comprehensive three camera setup, a wide shot, a medium shot, and a close up. Before progressing to Gen 2, remember you can fine tune your images even further with other various runway magic tools. For instance, if a shot feels too tight, consider using infinite image to adjust the space around your subject. Alternatively, cropping your image and running it through the upscale image tool can allow you to form a closer shot. Now finally, let's animate our shots with Gen 2 and give them life. And so with these three shots in hand, here's what you can do once you've generated your videos with the three shot setup. 